YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I have a new trying out this product video. Um, I got the Wonder Brow, and a girlfriend of mine uh, liked their page on Facebook, so it showed up on my feed, and I asked her if she had tried it yet. She said no, but that she liked the page because she was interested in trying it. So I thought, why not try it? Uh, so I got this on Amazon, I think for $12, and it had free delivery from Amazon Prime. Um, it touts that it's supposed to be waterproof brows that last for days. Um, now, how many days? I don't know. Uh, their Amazon reviews go from people saying that it's smeared immediately to some people saying it's lasted on them for a week. Um, so I wanted to kind of try it, see what I thought about it, and share my thoughts with you guys. I'm not getting paid for this review. I bought this with my own money. Um, the color I got it in is black brown. Uh, so kind of to blend a little bit more than my look. I usually don't like doing my eyebrows too dark because it's really harsh on my face. Um, but I hope the black brown isn't so deep. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Inside it comes with the uh, gel and a little spoolie brush. Uh, and it also comes with the instruction manual. So the way you're supposed to do it is to make sure that your brows are nice and clean and dry and have no product on them. So they really kind of suggest you do your eyebrows before you do your full face of makeup, but I was halfway there, so I was like, why not? Uh, so you're gonna put this on your nice clean brows, small strokes, and then brush it out with a spoolie brush, and then once it's dry, it's set. And the only way to take it off is with like a waterproof makeup remover and a little bit of scrubbing, I guess. Uh, but apparently it's supposed to be like non-toxic, it's not bad for you or anything like that, it's just a makeup product. All right, so right off the bat, this is the black-brown color, and it's a little bit uh, ashen blonde, I would say, for people who have a lot lighter hair than mine. I don't know if it's gonna dry darker than this color, but uh, this is not what I would consider a black-brown. This is more of an olive. Uh, the applicator looks just like um, a lipstick applicator. Like, it's really the same exact bottle and everything is a lipstick applicator. Um, I've also heard tips from people saying that they use a different brush because this brush is a little bit harder to control, but because I'm doing a, you know, testing out a product video, I figured I might as well use their brush and try and see if their product works on its own. Uh, so my brows are completely not done. If you can't tell, I have like no eyebrows right now. This is what my eyebrows look like naturally. Um, they don't grow in super thick and they're kind of light. Uh, I think it's from over plucking them when I was in high school, of course. It's like the same story with everybody, right? Don't pluck your eyebrows, kids, or over pluck them, rather. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start in the front. And just doing kind of like that light sweepy motion, not too much product in one spot. Uh, I know my sister texted me the other day and she tried, this one Korean company has a product that you brush onto your eyebrows and then you peel off and it's like an eyebrow stain and she loved it. So maybe I'll try that one next if you guys are interested. your product towards the end of the eyebrow because I don't really have any hair there so I'm just gonna do that real quick all right and that is one eyebrow done you guys can kind of see the difference so before it dries I have to run the spoolie through it to kind of make it look a little bit more natural I just do it, do it like a, kind of like a gradient in the front of the eyebrow. I really like the way that looks. All right. It's kind of shiny. I don't know if I like the shininess of it. Anyways, that is the eyebrow done. And maybe once it dries, it'll lose some of that shine. If not, I'll just hit it with some setting powder and see if that helps. Yeah, that was pretty easy to do, um, considering the applicator and all was not something that I would regularly use to do eyebrows. I like to have like an angled brush uh, so I can get that perfect arch and a line at the end of my eyebrow. 
Uh, but all things considered, that wasn't so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side while I'm waiting for this one to dry. Okay, and spooling. You know like how like a face mask feels when it's drying? It kind of feels like that. Like it feels like the skin is getting a little bit taut. Uh, you don't know what that's about. So on the box it says it takes two minutes to set. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it set for two minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so it has been two minutes now, um, and it says under two minutes, so it should be done now. Uh, the, uh, the shine has completely gone from it now. It's more of a matte color, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run my hand over it to see if any product comes off on my hand. And a little bit did come off my hand. I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera. Just a very light coat on the ends of my fingers. Um, so maybe, maybe let it set a little longer. I might have done a heavier coat. Um, and let's, oh, I'm scared with this, right? Let's see if we can wipe it away. And no. Ooh, ooh, mm. There's a little bit of smudging. Can you guys see that? Yeah, there's, there's definitely some smudging. And I can wipe it away still at least. But for the most part, it all stayed in place. I think it was still a little bit wet because it came off on my fingers, um, but just a little bit, and the rest of it stayed in place. It looks perfect still. Um, so I say that it worked. It feels like I have like eyebrow hairspray on right now. Like my eyebrows feel like they're cemented in place. Um, but I, I actually love that it, it held steady uh, through vigorous rugging, rubbing on my eyebrow. Um, I would definitely keep using this and I'm gonna keep experimenting with it and seeing, you know, different coats. Maybe if I do two coats of it, if it looks a little bit more natural or like what. Um, Cause I like my eyebrows to look a little bit, you know, arched and extreme, not natural per se, but uh, I'm definitely gonna experiment with it more and see if I can get it to fit more of my look. Uh, but right now I definitely think it works. Um, it is held up for one day. Um, I'm gonna keep wearing them and wash my face at the end of the night with a non-makeup uh, remover and wash and I will report down below in the comments section with my findings. Um, so check down there for the updates. Uh, but so far, uh, first results, I say it works um, and I'm impressed. The color uh, didn't get darker but it, it definitely blends with the color that's already on my brows. If you have no eyebrows and you wanted like a dark like black brown color. Um, I would not recommend this for you, uh, but if you already have dark eyebrow hair, it works really good blending in with that. Um, and it has definite brown undertones, like brown olive. Uh, so if you have black hair like me, it's not quite the right color, uh, but if you have more of a brown tone hair, this will match perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed. For only $12, and this is a lot of product, it'll last for a long time. Um, and I'm gonna keep testing it. So be sure to that subscribe button if you guys like this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want more videos like this of me trying out different beauty products. I'm trying to grab the latest stuff on the market right now and try them for you guys. So let me know what you think and let me know if there's a product that you want me to try. But I will see you guys all next time. Bye everybody!